everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special review of two exclusive figures from Joe Fest 2019. The only way to get these figures without resorting to eBay was to be at Joe Fest in Augusta, Georgia. I was there, and this figure was given to me with the express purpose of reviewing it, and that's what I'm going to do. I have another exclusive figure to show you as well. That one is a loner, and I will be returning it to its rightful owner as soon as I'm done recording this review. This is the Unmasked Commando, codenamed Snake Eyes. According to the file card, this is by Scorched Earth Creations with level 7 and Black Major. This is a custom of version 2 of Snake Eyes with his mask removed so you can see his scarred face. This figure comes with some appropriate accessories. Uh, it includes uh, Snake Eyes' Uzi, uh, in black. It looks like a black uh, casting of the version 1 Snake Eyes Uzi. Um, it has the backpack from version 2 of Snake Eyes with an additional paint application uh, that just makes it pop a little bit more. Uh, and it has Snake Eyes' sword uh, which will fit on the backpack, uh, so that's really nice. Uh, I'm assuming they are using Black Major figures uh, to customize this, um, and I have to say the accessories actually fit on a little better uh, than other Black Major figures that I have seen. So uh, the accessories look pretty good, and they actually fit on the figure fairly well. Uh, the figure, in addition to those accessories, includes uh, a timber wolf instead of the classic light gray with the white paint wash this one is black with a silver stripe on the back very striking this exclusive includes a second head this is the classic snake eyes version 2 head all in black it does not have the gray paint application on the visor i will not be swapping out the heads on this figure just because i want to be extremely cautious with it and avoid breaking it what really makes this figure special is the head and i want to spend some time on it and get some close-ups so you can see it. As we know from the G.I. Joe comic book, Snake Eyes' face was badly burned in a helicopter accident. His face is scarred. That's why he wears a mask. Well, this is Snake Eyes without his mask. This appears to be a new head sculpt, and it is exceptional. The sculpting on it uh, is quite detailed with some very detailed paint applications. We can see eyes, teeth, and uh, some additional paint on the scars. Uh, you can see on the side of his head some of his hair is burned away. This is how we would imagine Snake Eyes to look without his mask. Uh, he has kind of some dirty blonde hair there, what's left of it. Uh, but Snake Eyes' face is pretty mangled, and this really captures that well. I can't stop looking at this head sculpt. A lot of effort went into it, and it paid off. This is how I imagine Snake Eyes to look without his mask. Looking at the rest of the figure, we have the classic version 2 Snake Eyes uniform in black. It looks like there's a paint wash over it, maybe, to make some of the details pop a little bit more. A black bandolier instead of the classic gray one on the vintage figure. It does have the silver dart gun on the wrist, just like the vintage figure. Um, and moving on down the figure, we have uh, the same details that we had on version 2 of Snake Eyes. You know, the pistol and the knife and the belt and the boots. Um, but of course, all in black. Um, and that's appropriate for Snake Eyes. You don't really need to add a lot of paint detail on Snake Eyes. He really needs to be mostly black black, and that's what we have here. Uh, but it's really the head that sets this apart. If you really just wanted a custom figure of Snake Eyes version 2, you could pop the second head on, and that's exactly what you would have. But I don't think I would do that. I'm too much in love with this new head sculpt. Like I said, it looks like they're using a Black Major figure to customize, and I have dealt with Black Major figures before. I don't collect them, but over the years I have managed to acquire a few of them. And some of them are of varying quality. Uh, some of them can be kind of loose, but this one doesn't seem to have that problem. The accessories seem to fit fine, and the joints seem to be fine, not too loose. Credit may be due to the customizer for that, but this figure doesn't seem to have some of the problems that other Black Major figures have. The figure did come with a file card, and the file card recounts some of the G.I. Joe comic book continuity. Uh, very nicely written. 
Uh, we have some new artwork by Jason Mark Sobel, uh, so nice artwork on that. Here's where it says 2019 Scorched Earth Creations with Level 7 and Black Major, uh, made and printed exclusively for Joe Fest 19, and looks like we have eight flag points. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could still send flag points in for things. This file card is blank on the back. This figure came polybagged uh, with a bag that had a nice sticker with the Joe Fest logo on it. If I hadn't promised to review it, I honestly probably would have left it in the poly bag because this is such a nice set. As I said earlier, this figure sold out. It sold out very quickly, is my understanding. A lot of people snatched this figure up, and I can understand why. So this, I believe. I believe is the kind of exclusive you can expect to see at Joe Fest down the years. Uh, since it is not an official Hasbro convention, you don't get official Hasbro exclusives, but that gives you a chance to get these beautiful custom exclusives. This is another exclusive Joe Fest figure, and I believe this one sold out as well. This is the Traitor by Broca Customs. This figure was loaned to me by Stuart, so I could do this review. Thank you, Stuart. As soon as I I'm done with this, I will box it up and send it to you. This figure is based on a couple episodes of the animated series called The Traitor, in which Dusty temporarily defects to Cobra. This is basically Dusty in a Cobra uniform, but that is not a standard Dusty head, nor is this a standard Cobra uniform. As with the other figures, this is an updated and very nicely sculpted head, a great detail on the hair, great paint application on the hair, just very sharply sculpted and it looks great. Yeah, I can imagine this is dusty. I think this it does look like dusty. I suppose the easy thing to do would be to just put this new dusty head on a standard Cobra Trooper body, but that's not what they did. They have some other parts at play here. Uh, we have the arms from some Swivel Arm 1983 figures uh, with some silver pockets on the upper arms and some black gloves. Uh, the chest is the same chest that was used for Zap uh, and Short Fuse, but of course in Cobra colors with a nice Cobra emblem right on the chest. He has a blue waist piece with a black belt. Moving on down, he has blue legs, and these are not standard Cobra Trooper legs. It looks like they used Airborne's legs for this, and that works. That actually works really well. It has some additional detail that you would not get if you had the standard Cobra Trooper legs. He's got a silver pocket on the left leg, a silver pistol on the right leg. Uh, he does still have the knee pads because Airborne had knee pads, uh, and then he has some black boots. This figure did come with some accessories and on this one I did have a little trouble with the accessories and since this figure does not belong to me I'm just not going to force the accessories into the hands or force the backpack onto the back I'm just not going to take any risk of breaking this figure. The figure came with a black figure stand and this figure stand does have a Hasbro stamp on the bottom. I could probably use this figure stand with the figure but again I'm not taking any risks with this figure. I'm not going to break the heels off on that figure. I won't even and risk it uh, but it does have a figure stand uh, and as with the other figure it has an alternate head so you can put traitor dusty uh, in his full Cobra uniform. Or if you did not want this figure to be dusty, you could put this head on it and just have it as a Cobra army builder. I do like this figure. They could have been lazy about it. This could have been a very simple and easy custom job, but they didn't do it the easy way. They went the extra mile to make it special, and that really comes through. And this figure could be of special interest to fans of Dusty or fans of the animated series who liked those episodes. That was my review of two exclusive Joe Fest 2019 figures, and to those who gave and loaned these figures to me, thank you for the opportunity. For those who did not make it to Joe Fest in 2019, the expectation is they will be doing it again next year. So make your plans early, come out, and see what kind of amazing custom exclusive figures they have next year. Thank you for watching. I am hard at work making vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. I have some coming up for you soon. I'll see you then and until then remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.